Hello and welcome to the 10 question tea break. You're here with me, Jen Maynard from the Boho Bride Guide. And uh, we have the pleasure today to be talking to Joanna from the fabulous venue, Higher Holcomb in Devon, the UK. Welcome, Joanna. How are you doing? Thank you, Jen. It's lovely to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Good stuff. We're going to kick off with question one then, Joanna. Um, so what do you specialise in at Higher Holcomb? So at Higher Holcomb, we specialise in offering couples who want a flexible venue with lots of outside spaces and with quite a lot of accommodation options. So we want to encourage them to have a really nice, relaxed weekend wedding and all their guests can have a, a, a mini break as well because we're in a beautiful part of the Devon countryside. Amazing, amazing. Okay, a question about you next. So Joanna, what three words would your best friend describe you as? Um, uh, I asked my friends this actually, and one word kept coming up over and over again. <laughs> And that is enthusiastic. I don't know if I can just put that down three times. Um, so, and I definitely am enthusiastic. I do, I do like um, new ideas and new challenges and, and all the rest of it. Um, uh, the other two words that I would use to describe myself actually are flexible. And I think that I've proven this across my life, you know, um, I've done lots of things in lots of different places, moved countries about five or six times, wow. twice with newborn babies. <laughs> and the other thing is I'm very responsive. I mean, I do come from a background of being a primary school teacher. And um, I think that's an essential thing. It's been is responding to the individuals that you come across and meeting their needs and, and not being a sort of formulaic person. You know, it's not one one size fits all kind of thing. So yeah, enthusiastic, flexible and responsive. Oh, I like it, Joanna. Thank you so much. And I think, yeah, I, they, they are three fabulous uh, words to be uh, related to you. So I like it. I like it. Okay, question three. What is the most random job you have done before starting your wedding business, your venue? I think, I mean, I've, I've had Saturday jobs since I was 13, so I've done loads of different things, but I think the most random thing I've done is I used to work um, as a Saturday girl in this sort of boutique called Chelsea Girl. I don't, it doesn't exist anymore. I think um, it's been taken over by someone else, but my job was to stand by the exit and be the security person and make sure that no one ran away with anything. <laughs> But I got so bored and I mean if it hadn't been for Carol King on the loop with all the songs singing all the Carol King songs um, I would have just gone bonkers but the awful thing about it is, is that because I was so bored I wasn't taking any notice and one day one day this woman came back in with about three hangers with clothes hanging on them and she's going oh, I'm really sorry I absentmindedly walked out with these I haven't even noticed <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Maybe not your calling in life then, Joanna. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I love it. No. And my dad actually was, my dad used to work for Security Corps. He used to be a security guard. He would have been very ashamed of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay, question four, Joanna. Share something people wouldn't generally know about you. Um, right. There's, I have to say, I think one of the most unexpected things about me is that I'm actually a secret lover of drumming. Ooh. So I am Irish. And when I was um, a student teacher, um, one of my friends played the Boran, which is an Irish drum. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have a go at that. And so I did, in fact, buy myself one and taught myself how to play this drum. And I have found it to be really flexible um and I've really enjoyed playing it and sometimes I play in bands and join in the odd sort of sing song in a pub and then when we lived in Tanzania I took um lessons um in how to play the djembe which is an African drum yeah and I used to accompany my husband who's a bit of an amateur musician 
and play sometimes in nightclubs or at parties. I even played at a wedding once, actually. But I think that's something that most people probably don't know about me. <laughs> Love it, love it. Got some rhythm then, Joanna, got some rhythm. A little bit. I, t I can also play the guitar, but I'm a bit of a three chord queen. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Good stuff. Okay, question five, very important one. Would If you had to choose cats or dogs? Well, I don't have either, but I think I'm actually a little bit scared of cats. So I think I would go for dogs. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm Fair scared enough. of cat's claws. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. No, I, I can relate. So I, I'm, a, I'm a dog. I'm a dog lover. I haven't got one, but um, definitely. And I just I just find that a cat has got like an ulterior motive, like not quite sure where they're going to go kind of thing. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Yeah, okay. both, my, both my daughters have got cats. Yeah, okay. but... Um, uh, but yeah, they, they, uh, but they, they do. I'm scared of them. I am. I'm scared of cats. I think they're, yeah. they're wild animals. They should be in a jungle somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay. Um, so question six, what is your favorite part of your job working in the wedding industry? So I love almost every part of my job. Um, but the thing that I find most, um, satisfying in a way is seeing how different couples use our venue and use the space and I love seeing how they, they set up um, especially the sort of main reception area I love seeing how they express their personalities and their favorite things and their hobbies and their passions uh, I love seeing all their enthusiasm and excitement and then the satisfaction that they see uh, when it's all in place and ready to go, um, ready to invite all their friends and relatives for their special occasion. Oh. So it's sort of um, calm, pretty, you know, it's like, oh, doesn't it look gorgeous? And we're going to have the most marvellous party. And I think that's what I really, I love that. That's, yeah, that's such an amazing answer. And it's so true, isn't it? Like, all of us have got our individual individuality and you get to see that at the venue come out it's so special so special oh, it's very stuff. special yeah very privileged yeah it really is that's brilliant and talking about your venue so just talk us through what areas um you've got on offer that a, a couple can personalize so um the the main uh do you know, we've got a wedding coming up in July, which I'm really excited about. It's a, going to be a festival styled wedding. And um, I just love all the ideas this couple have, have brought, actually. Um, so we have got um, a lovely walkway through the orchard for when the guests arrive that leads down to the barn, which is the main party area. And this particular couple are going to line the pathway with festival flags. So that's me that's oh it's going to lend such an air of excitement and and festivities yeah. um the, the main area of course is the old dairy which used to be a milking parlor and we've spent all our pocket money renovating it and making it look quite neutral but it's you know plain white walls I've just painted the floor with slate gray paint with yeah. beautiful handmade chunky beams and very sort of chunky handmade rustic um tables trestle tables so um it's it's kind of elegantly rustic i think and it doesn't really need much to make it look gorgeous even just a few flowers in in jam jars looks really lovely but it also looks beautiful with extravagant displays of colors and oh i just love it <laughs> so i do like it when couples go and forage in the hedgerows or the woodland glades or the meadows and get a few bits and pieces to add to their decorations um, we have two main ceremony spaces. One's the Willow Cathedral, um, which we planted about three years ago. And we think we're the only venue in the country to have planted a Willow Cathedral, especially for weddings. Yeah. Um, so we're, that, that actually doesn't need very much um, decoration. Um, but I've got a couple coming later in the year who are going to put buckets of flowers on one side each side of one of the chapels yeah. then we've got our um we've got our chill out area for, with the fire pit and low benches and we've actually decorated those with african masks because we've lived in three african countries 
I've met I met Gary in Nigeria when we were both doing voluntary work. Wow. We've lived in Kenya and Tanzania, so it's part of part of us, really. <laughs> so, like, I'm sorry if you don't like African masks, but uh, <laughs> that's what you've got. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the the other really lovely place that people can personalise um, is if they use the Silver Birch Church, which they can, um, which is actually, actually an accidental planting of silver birch trees in straight lines they never meant for them to be like that but now that they've grown <laughs> they look great they look great yeah uh, they look really lovely um and people we've um people usually uh again just bunting between the trees and maybe a, an arch with flowers attached um and we've got some plans to um to add a focal point in there, which is a secret at the moment. But um, we're always enjoying playing with, with new ideas of how we can improve it, really. Brilliant. So I think they're the main areas. Yeah. Um, yes, the Party Barn, the Silver Birch Church, the Willow Cathedral, um, yeah. And, and the, um, the view from the Willow Cathedral looks unreal uh, from your pictures on in Instagram, look, like to see the Devon country. Well, do you know something? It is lovely. We are in, even though we're very accessible to Exeter and we're about 10 minutes from the M5 and three yeah. minutes literally from the um, A30, we're up a, a single track lane that, it do, that doesn't lead anywhere. So we have a very secluded feel to our venue. So it does feel a bit exciting and, and secretive. And I'm sure if couples choose us, their guests are going to think, however did they find this place? <laughs> yeah. if nobody yeah. knows it's here. <laughs> Maybe oh. it's because I'm bad at marketing, but uh, <laughs> anyway, it's... Um, it, and the Willow Cathedral we planted at the top of uh, one of the hills to, so that we, they could have a, a nice command of the views. And it is lovely. It is lovely, yeah. especially in the spring and early summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exciting. Exciting. I can't wait for weddings. So exciting. <laughs> oh, nor can I. I'm really excited. Next week we're having our first one. Oh, really wow. excited. Yeah. And so it brings on to question seven, Joanna. What piece of advice um, do you give most often to couples that you work with at your venue? So um, if people want my advice, um, I'll certainly give it to them. And I, 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 it's two part. There's two parts to it. One is your budget, actually. Um, and actually make your budget your master and stick to it. Because what you don't want is all the stress of yeah. going into debt or spending things that you haven't, you know, just have your budget and stick to it and make it your master. Okay. Okay, question eight. What makes your wedding offerings different from other suppliers within your specialism? We um, we are the opposite of a corporate venue. And in fact, when we first opened and we were first showing people around, people would say to me, oh, you're not very corporate, are you? And I'd say, you know, I take that as an absolute compliment because I don't want to be a cookie cutter venue. I want the venue to be what the couple wants it to be. And so um, our offer of flexible spaces with choices that couples can make and lots of um, accommodation opportunities, I think, and it's all about couples having what they want. Yeah, like it, like it. Okay. And so um, what packages do you offer at Higher Holcomb, Joanna? So our packages, I don't, we don't really have packages, but I suppose it depends what you, what you call them. Uh, basically, it, it's there, are, you can um, go for either a one or a two or a three night weekend. Um, and if you want to get married, during the week you can go for a one or a two night offer yeah um so um if you have yeah so that that's it really one or two nights during the week or one two or three night weekends and i would say the three night weekend is our most popular package yeah. if that's the right word oh. it just gives people it just gives couples the choice to sort of really relax they've got time they can enjoy the setup they can enjoy the day with their friends and family and then extend into the Sunday, you know, and have a lie-in and a nice brunch and go to the seaside or have a walk yeah. and 
you know, have fish and chips on the rocks at the seaside and just really make the most of having all your favourite people with you. Yeah. So, yeah. That's Sounds what, like an app. That would be important to me. Yeah, I love that idea. And I, I remember last year I looked at sort of wedding trends and very much the whole wedding weekend was like on the up because people wanted to spend that quality time with people that they love and have them around for longer than just a day that like whizzes in a in a second, doesn't it? So I love that. I love um, the opportunity there. It's brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah, so even though I'm not even though I'm not trendy, Jen, clearly I'm all with the You're on it. when it comes to weddings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. And the last question. So where can people find out more about you, Joanna, and at, at Higher Holcomb? So they can visit our website, which is hireholcomb.co.uk. They can look at our Instagram handle at hire.holcomb, um, or they can give me a call and ask me to send them some information. Oh, amazing. And, um, and I'll link to all of your details in um, the comment section so people can find you easily. Um, but Joanna, it's been an absolute pleasure um, getting to know a bit more about you and your fabulous venue at Higher Holcomb. And I cannot wait to come and have a picnic and have a nose around. And I can't wait to welcome you here, <laughs> Jen. Thanks so much for inviting Brilliant. me. Bye. No Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye.